Hi guys, welcome to my channel. It's the latest of video about block bone project. Today we will talk about announcement in medium about block bone project. Blockchain how block bone is disrupting online gaming. There's a definite overlap between crypto and gaming crowds. Generation X and Millennials are demographic that have more interest in both gaming and cryptocurrency than perhaps any other. This parallel makes sense really. Many games use a kind of quasi cryptocurrency, although not, although not using blockchain. They are in-game currencies which serve a similar role as crypto. These currencies true do not have the same exchangeable value as a tradable cryptocurrency and their value tends to come from creating an in-game economy. Tokenizing game assets on the blockchain. Blockburn is waving a tradable currency through its gaming network rather than creating an in-game currency which it bought within the confines of the game. Beyond this, the token economy within the gaming network is incredibly robust and is being developed with a set of dynamics that are intended to support and give some serious value to burn. The crypto co token zero in the block burn gaming network. So there are few ways that token value is being natural and produced. For starters, winners of the live battle matches take the collective stake that has been played for. This great for skilled players who have a knack for creaking boards and taking names, maybe not so great for those who gaming skills are a little rusty, giving opponents more chances of winning the lottery. The more matches they play keeps players coming back to the ring. One of the more ingenious aspects of the game network is the unique shop system. The in-game marketplace has all manners of customizable items which can be bought in the sand, so not in the way you might think. When you buy an item in the Brockburn marketplace, the funds are locked away in a vault and at the later date can be sold back refunded into the game. The cut of the item depends on how long you lock the funds away for, be it a week, a month, a year, or whatever. The discarded rate for renting items for longer periods of time will see more tokens kept locked away, increasing the overall value of burn. The wedding gamers with crypto gaming draws people in. It engages the mind and it shows a lot of fun. Who doesn't love a good game? In the trending world, income can be earned in a myriad of unauthorized ways, whether that be monetizing a YouTube channel, flashing out a, a popular net blog, reading articles for crypto and now playing interactive multiplayer games for crypto. This is what Blockburn is bringing to the table, an unorthodox way for people to earn rewards in ways which a number of years ago didn't exist. In the Blockburn white paper, it states that there will be two main modes which are free mode and competitive mode. So newbies do have a chance to build up their skills before going into the arena. Once they are confident enough, they can start up a level and break the competitive arena. All in all, 
all in all, quit the growth of cryptocurrency and departure of crypto from just concept to something of real world use. Crypto gaming really has the potential to permit the vast and very established gaming community. Blockbuster Gaming Partnership on September 1st, 2019. Blockbuster made a strategic partnership with Netherlands based gaming company Dutch Game Studio, who specializes in VR console, PC, and web games. The development is hard work in creating a broadband gaming platform and it will be released in Q1 of 2021. Broadband will be running an IEO on February the 7th through the train train. You can have more information at www.blockburn.io That's about how Blockburn is disrupting online gaming in blockchain platform. Thanks for watching my video. See you in next video. Goodbye.